Hey Libras, this is your reading for December 2021. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. See what message is here for you. Hope you guys are doing good out there. You're happy, you're healthy, you're doing your thing, you're thriving. Okay. Um, we're going to do a traditional Celtic cross for you here, Libra, to find out what your energy is for this month. Okay. I like doing Celtic Cross. I usually do it for the weekly readings, but um, I felt like doing it and changing it up a little bit for uh, this month. Okay, so we're going to get in depth and personal in these readings and get some additional messages as well. So stay tuned with me. All right. Okay, Libra. Mm. Ooh. Yes, it's a breakthrough, baby. Yes, it is. Okay, Libra, before we get into these cards here, we're going to get your angel message out. I want you guys, uh, when you see your angel number here, I'm going to get your angel number out. But when you see this number here, uh, Google this number. Let us all know what your angel number is, how this number resonates with you here. message do you have here for Libra I just heard lost in thought for some reason okay this number keeps coming out for everyone you have 29 here okay which equates to 11 all right so there's some guidance from the universe from your spirit team here as well so pay attention to, to signs and synchronicities here as well pay attention to what your higher self is telling you those your your uh into yeah your intuition those gut instincts that's what i'm trying to say those gut instincts pay attention to those here libra okay and follow those messages follow those feelings here as well um so this number 29 your affirmation is i am insightful and you are here libra you guys are insightful all right you are highly intuitive and creative your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and, and ideas from out of the sky okay if you guys if you guys have Aries in your chart here, make sure you take a look at that Aries reading. I believe they got the same number as well. Okay. Um, your card is saying a powerful drive to know the oneness of all things here. Okay. Uh, some of you guys are truth seekers. <laughs> okay. And you're like the scales, you like balance here, but you also, you're this truth seeker looking for truth, looking for answers and balancing your life and the things that are happening here in your life and in the world in general here. That's what I feel here, Libra. Okay. So let's take a look here. Okay. There is a lot of things going on in your mind. You have the king of swords here. So you may be feeling quite indecisive right now at this moment. A lot of things may not be, um, I was going to say jiving. Where are we? Shit. When the 80s or something, jiving. A lot of things not jiving with you here. That's okay. All right. You won't stay in this energy. That's what I feel here. A lot of things will become clear. You will see the bigger picture of where you're supposed to be going, where you're headed here. Okay. And why things are happening the way that they are happening here for you, um, Libra. Okay. So a lot of you guys, you may be thinking with... Um, it's your heart over your mind, okay? <laughs> I believe there was like a, a a meme out there. It was like a heart and then a mind. It was like pointing towards the mind was pointing towards a heart saying, I'm following stupid, okay? Pointing towards a heart. And you guys are not stupid by any means. Your car says you're insightful here, okay? And it's your intuition, those spirit messages or there's those universal messages that come towards you that you need to follow here, okay? Um, those gut instincts that you need to listen to. But back to your card. This is how you're being shown as the king of swords. You're not making decisive choices right now you're not taking decisive action some of you guys are feeling depleted of your energy and your power right now so that's okay you're just being shown where you need to make changes in your life right now at this moment um 
your mind is going in a lot of places here but i feel like you are realigning yourself here especially moving into the new year you're realigning yourself to the things that really matter like i said you guys are seeing the bigger picture or you're stepping into that energy going through this uh soul awakening here where you're seeing the bigger picture of where you need to put your time your attention and your energy here you have the eight of swords that is crossing you here so some of you guys feel stuck in this energy here okay but your car is letting me know with this eight of swords that this is a, a self-imposed restriction here okay maybe a spirit slowed you down just a little bit here okay so that you can regroup um reassess regain your energy here uh get back in touch with yourself here your higher self here um get back in touch with your spirit team as well that's what they're letting me know because some of you guys were just yeah it was a lot of this energy of you being led by possibly outside forces things that were going on around you okay some of you guys are dealing with some people too that you felt very stuck with let's take a look at this eight of swords and see what this energy is why you felt helpless or victimized okay or had these negative thoughts here okay some of you guys uh you need to go through a healing process to move yourself out of this you have mountain road coming in here some of you guys felt like you were moving mountains here is a very difficult struggle to move past something or someone here with the eight of swords all right but spirit is letting me know that you are on the road to success you have to just move uh, pl people places and things out of your life that do not resonate with you here anymore okay it could be your own self you need to step out of your own way here libra and believe in your skills believe in your talents like damn it step into your power especially with the king of swords being in the reverse position there's this need for you to step back into your power here and believe in yourself again all right so what's grounding you is a page of cups that sweet sweet heart of yours okay um but i feel like this is not about a relationship it's all not all about you this is not about a relationship right now at this moment there's this need for you to get your own mental state back in check um before you really start working on a relationship and that is coming around in your reading i see this here okay there will be some balance here especially if you're single you may be bringing in a lover or if you're with someone committed in a relationship there will be more stability that it that will happen in that relationship here okay but you have to get your own mind together first there needs to be communication happening between you and a lover if you're in a committed relationship but healing right now here at least in december as we move into december is needed in your own body in your own soul in your own spirit right now okay so that you can align with your higher purpose that's what i'm feeling here okay there's a lot of uh, workings going on because I'm getting heady here. <laughs> I'm feeling like there's a lot going on in my mind here, especially with the swords on the table here. It's not a, a tremendous amount here, but I do see them here on the table. OK, five of swords, king of swords in reverse, eight of swords here, three of swords as we move into this energy here. OK, uh, there's a lot of changes that you are going through here, but it's aligning you towards your higher purpose here. Okay? Okay, so just continue to be optimistic and move forward in your life. Work through those challenges. Continue to keep your family, your friends, those that you love and you trust around you here. This is you giving out a lot, a lot of loving energy. Even when you feel bad, I feel like if you give that energy out, your family will come and support you. Your friends will come and support you, especially in your time of need here. That's what that page of cups makes me feel like. So some of you guys have been dealing with this for a while now at least for the last year year and a half that's the energy that they're giving me with the five of swords you felt like there were, were a lot of things um up against you or people that were up against you some of you guys it was just pure jealousy if you were dealing with other people and you could have been doing not so great here okay but whatever you had going on uh it wasn't happening for them so i feel like that's exactly where that jealousy came in okay um 
you're so helpful too here Libra you guys always extend your energy out to others that's what I feel about Libra and Aquarius okay um, but you have the hat clarifying uh, the five of swords maybe you guys were giving your time and your attention your energy over to people who didn't deserve that shit okay so um, yeah they're letting me know that whoever you were dealing with, possibly another air sign, somewhere in their chart doesn't have to be, but they were big mouth motherfuckers, that's what I'm hearing, okay? They're letting you know that you will be playing a different role this time. You're no longer going to be in competition with this person. Their words will no longer affect you. I don't feel like this is a lover. I feel like this is someone that really don't fucking matter, okay? Sorry about my language here, but they don't mat matter okay in, in the big scheme of things in the bigger picture okay like i said this could be a friend here that don't you don't matter if i lose you okay fine whatever okay I'm, I'm over here chilling with my family my friends the people that really give me good energy that lift me up when i need them okay because I, I feel like you guys are always supportive here libra you're always supporting someone else but who's there for you when you need them that's the people that you need to stay around here okay so whoever you have conflict with here i feel like in the month of december as you move forward through december here you're going to be playing a different role they're going to know Know that they lost you okay either energetically or in a physical way because you cut communication you got their ass off your social media you erase their phone number or you block their ass okay and it's solo dolo you rolling on your own that's what i feel here okay some of you guys you may be there may be a disconnect let me just go back let me circle back here because i told you i will talk about relationships here if you're single, okay, you're going to be happy and single, enjoying your own time, enjoying yourself, learning how to do this with the nine of cups here, okay? If you're in a committed relationship, there may be a disconnection between you and your lover, especially if you guys are living in the same household. You may find that you're not talking to this lover very much here. You don't want arguments. You don't want uh, to be misunderstood here either. So I feel like that time of you guys not communicating the way that you used to in the month of December will have you both looking at the relationship very differently because you've had the time that you need to uh regain clarity here okay or work on yourself do a lot of soul searching and healing and shadow work behind the scenes here but there will be no breaking up that's <laughs> that's what i feel in the upright position i'll be like you you're about to break up with this person no no, I feel like it is work being done between you two in the background here, at least in the month of December here. OK, and you're finding your own happiness. You may be involving yourself creatively in different things, both of you on different lines here. OK, so you're finding happiness on your own. But I feel like you're coming back together here in the future as we move into the end of December into the new year of 2022 with the Ten of Cups. You guys come back together. So. Uh, if you're single, know that there's a possibility with the Ten of Cups here coming in the future that there may be a relationship here for you, all right, because you have done that soul work, you have done that shadow work, okay, um, that there may be someone else stepping in that you can connect with, that you are like-minded uh, individuals together here. You bring something to the table that creates a relationship that is very harmonious and beautiful here, okay? If you're committed with someone or committed to someone in a committed relationship, I see you guys doing your own soul searching, your own uh, spiritual work, but coming back together uh, by the end of December here, okay? I see you working through the challenges that you may have had on an individual level but still staying together and doing what you have to do but the relationship will be better because you see yourself in a different light here thus you are giving more attention you're giving more time to your partner here okay because you know what you need you know what makes you happy and you're no longer fighting there's no more fussing between you two you can have calm relationships uh and with each other that's what i'm saying here okay because you know thyself what? Okay. So this is your mind telling you that you may need to take that time to get to get to know yourself here a little bit, to pamper yourself, to take care of yourself here, to find your happiness here. Okay. 
what makes you satisfied like i said your future energy is a 10 of cups so single or coupled you're gonna be with your person or a new person will step in towards you possibly a water sign here libra doesn't have to be could be an air sign here that's what i see as well um but i see a lot of satisfaction happening even if you stay single for some of you guys let me pull one card for this even if you stay single you're gonna be around uh family you're going to be around uh, a happy <laughs> more happy family here okay or you're going to be happy with what you're doing um in your uh professional life here if you are staying single and you're not open to a relationship i'm seeing this here with the beetle on the desk the desk says pay attention to your work and you may be doing that finding more satisfaction or just becoming more creative on your own here with a page of cups a flow of creativity or creative uh, possibilities will roll in towards you here uh, and it's going to bring you good fortune okay so whether you're single or a couple doesn't matter it, even if you don't find a new boo in december here uh and you find them later on in 2022 you're still going to be feeling good and i feel like you're still going to be on the path that you're supposed to be on like the mountain road says you are on the path to success here relationship and uh, financially so what you don't see here is that there needs to be some healing of your heart there you need to do some <clears throat> heal your heart chakra here Libra okay so from any past trauma or pain or current trauma or pain that you are dealing with here and we talked about this here okay there's no need to suffer in silence as well connect with those that love you that you trust that you can have conversations with to bring more clarity to the towards the changes that you need to make some of you need to do some inner child healing mm-hmm okay that's what this page of cups and this three of swords is letting me know okay so um your feelings here is the moon that's coming in here you guys are becoming more aware like your card is saying you're more insightful you're becoming more aware of your intuitive gifts uh your psychic abilities your intuition you're relying it relying on it more here um and I feel like it is aligning you towards your higher purpose here or towards a bigger picture of what you're headed towards in your life here. OK, so you guys are connecting spiritually. Pay attention to the cycles of the moon here as well to determine why your energy is the way that it is. OK, we're talking about full moons, uh, waning moons, waxing moons. OK, um, yes, new moons here. So pay attention to that. You can download that on your phone to see what position the moon is in, what phase is going through here, and then Google what that phase may mean in your life. Follow that for a little while so that you can become more familiar of why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. Like if you're feeling anxious or fearful or confused, you can find out why you're feeling that way because of the cycle or the phase of the moon here and what you may be experiencing things that you need to bring in towards you okay um when you're dealing with the waxy moon and things that you need to release when you're dealing with the waning moon or new uh possibilities that you need to step into when you're dealing with the full moon here or or if you're ready to purge some energy here during a full moon all right so uh people places and things that may be influencing you you have the seven of wands that's coming in here some of you guys are like i said guarding yourself against haters <laughs> All right, because I see your past energy with the five of swords here. You're not dealing with it here. Like I said, you're playing a different role with these people here in the past. You're no longer giving over your time, your atten attention here um, to people that don't have your best interests in mind or you have to question their motives. Like, bitch, what are you doing? Okay, who are you talking to? Who are you dealing with? Um, I'm a G. All right. <laughs> I'm it. All right. Let me see. You have the bird flying okay coming in so this is um you standing up against news that may be on its way towards you messages here of conflict that you have to deal with here you may have to cuss a bitch out i don't know all right you gotta cuss a bitch out cuss them out you don't need to sit in silence like oh why are you talking about me like that <laughs> no fuck them um cuss their ass out and then block them 
Bye. You want to bring drama into my life? I got enough shit going on. Okay. I don't need your mouth. All right. So I feel like that is you just dealing either professionally or in a ratchet ass way with conflict. Okay. Whatever you got to do here, Libra. So the <laughs> four of pentacles here is your outcome here. So some of you guys may be holding on or feel like you hold, have to hold on to things that you need to let go of here, whether, whether it is a breakup or betrayal or you suffering in silence here. Four of Pentacles is letting me know that it's time for you to uh, let this go. Okay, I know the Four of Pentacles is here uh, as your outcome that you holding on to something, whether that is you holding on to money or a relationship here. Um, you need to let that go here. All right, some of you guys are involved in a love triangle and you really need to let a motherfucker go here because it's bringing in too much suffering too much pain intuitively you know this with the number 29 that's coming in letting you know that you are highly intuitive and creative your mind okay thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky you draw information from your spirit guides as well here just keep that in mind, okay? Hold on to that thought if you hold on to anything, all right? So we're going to cl clarify the Page of Cups and this card shot out here, okay? Page of Cups, this is your youthful energy when you felt good, when you're a child. They want you to bring back that type of energy and do some inner child healing here, okay? Your card is saying young at heart, your youthful energy and the youthful energy in your eyes reveal a fun hidden treasure, allowing others to explore their own inner child here. So step back into that energy here, Libra. Tap back into that energy and while you're at it, clear up any childhood wounds or trauma that you may have experienced. When I say clean up that, I mean meditate over it. Uh, bless your past here, okay? And uh, start to focus on creating a new uh, energy moving forward here, okay? Acknowledge it, give thanks to it, and then redirect your focus towards what you truly want here. Don't stick uh, or stay in a uh, an energy of being heartbroken or disappoint, disappointed from past situations. Know that those were learning experiences to evolve you and your soul and your spirit here. Okay, so let's take a look at your three of swords while I'm talking about it. This is what you don't see. You needing to do some work on that heart chakra, right? All right, so clairvoyance. Some of you guys have this gift here, all right? You possess clear vision, perceiving with the mind's eye, inner vision or extended vision, capacity that can include images from the past, present, and future. Um, I, I'm also hearing that you guys can see this in others, their past, present, and future. So be careful that you don't hold on to energy that don't belong to you here, Libra. Um and maybe, yeah, maybe not possible, most definitely do some cleansing of your own soul, especially when you go out and you help others with issues that they may have here. Okay, so your feelings, let's clarify this. Why is the moon card here? All right, this is your subconscious mind working. You guys may be feeling anxious here. In the upcoming months here, like I said, follow the moon phases to figure out how to release that energy or acknowledge it and why you're feeling the way that you're feeling here, okay? So that you can make changes for yourself, right? You have manipulators. Some of you guys, uh, I said I won't talk about relationships that much. Maybe I said that in somebody else's reading, but this may be someone that you need to let go of, fit, a friend, um, someone from your past here, a lover, okay? You have manipulator coming in here, all right? Something's being hidden from you or someone's trying to manipulate you here. Uh, that's why you have the moon card talking about deception and illusions here, okay, of this manipulator. So careful of this person's words. You can see through them like fucking glass here, okay, with this clairvoyance card. Telling you that you possess a clear vision um, 
Okay, perceiving with the mind's eye and inner vision, okay, or extended vision um, capabilities, okay. So tap into that energy, especially with the moon here, and and see through others' mask here. That's what I'm um, feeling. Your card said you card your excuse me. Your card says you can transform into someone that you are not. Um, you can transform into someone that you are not to fit your agenda, making you extremely crafty and achieving your dreams and goals. <laughs> Be sure to use your gifts wisely. Uh, this is also telling me someone may also be a shapeshifter, okay, and may not be using their energy wisely. But look, you can have one up on them because you could do the same damn thing, okay, because you see what's going on with this person and, and you could possibly see the end of a situation very clearly as well, okay. So sometimes those cards read a little weird. I read exactly what's on there, but careful of manipulators or careful of stepping into that energy as well uh, and use that energy wisely okay because you have those gifts all right so some relationship some connection may be two-sided here um, that's what they want you to know but it says you two have extreme sides you have two extreme sides to you but you but yet with much grace and poise this ability gives you an advantage by keeping them in wonder here okay i feel like someone that you're may, that you may be dealing with also has two sides here some of you guys are dealing with gemini possibly here um that you need to defend yourself around or put up boundaries with or stand your ground with when you say something you stand on your 10 toes and that's what the fuck it means basically here okay they're also telling me that it's two sides to a story. Somebody's going to come towards you with some news here. That's what was clarifying this seven of wands here. So listen to their story here. Uh, make the best judgment that you can. Okay. That's what I feel here. Some of you guys just need to put your defense up. That's what this is saying. Why is the four of pentacles here as the outcome here? So they're letting me know that you guys may need to take or have financial control or take more notice to your finances here you got quite a few cards here coming in some of you guys are holding on to someone that's quite shitty or stingy <laughs> or uh maybe holding on to someone that's very um possessive over what you do and what you say kind of a dictator dictatorship type of energy here okay there's some release that needs to happen here in the future okay some change that you need to step into that's what i feel and you guys making a decision here and not being decisive uh, indecisive about this person here okay so you have detached coming in clarifying the four of pentacles your card libra says you're a deep thinker with a high level of emotional intelligence and you are some of you guys may feel like you're not that right now especially with the king of swords here in reverse but you won't stay in that energy for long once you step back into your power here okay once you step back into that energy of taking control over your life and your situation okay your vibration creates a ripple effect which, which makes others more aware of their own emotions here. You have the arouser that's coming in here uh, letting me know that you entice people but um, you bring out their hidden desires for you as well. Okay. That's why someone may be possessive over you. Just letting you know that you also have healing hands here. Some of you guys, you are able to use universal energy with your hands to help people alleviate spiritual, uh, physical, or mental suffering and clear energetic blockages, even for yourself. So know that you can do that also for yourself here later, okay? Your final message that is coming out for you guys. <laughs> I told you to be careful with someone. You have trick that's coming in here. Trick. Things may not be as they appear to be. And that's why you have this manipulator in this moon card that's coming in as well. Okay. Don't just listen here. Don't just look. See. Don't just sense feel here Libra okay you are taking a risk if you insist on proceeding observe the situation closely don't be indecisive about your actions and what you are seeing 
feeling, sensing, okay? With more detailed informa information, you will see through the deception. So be careful with someone here. They are two-sided or one-sided, okay? One-sided relationship. Two different faces, two motherfuckers, different motherfuckers you're dealing with, okay? Within one person. That's why I feel like some of you guys may be separating from someone a uh, moment for a while here, okay? Until you can figure out who you're, who you're dealing with here. Either you're doing some soul work or someone else is doing some soul work here. Libra, that's what I'm saying, okay? That is your reading, Libra, okay? Make sure you guys like this video. If you got a message out of this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell, loves, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care of yourself, Libra. Bye.